might be dodging some downpours this holiday weekend. Here's Byron. Hey there, Doug. And yeah, you could be dodging some of those downpours even this evening here in Albuquerque. Now you see the good news up around Santa Fe versus over. Things have dried out, but Right around Bernalillo and along I-25 north of Tramway from the Sandia Casino northward, we have this heavy downpour that has popped up that's settling off to the west, southwest, even some more showers now popping up over the North Valley and around Taylor Ranch, the west side of Taylor Ranch pulling off to the west side. So if you hear that thunder, take cover inside and you can see that we do have that heavy rain on the north side of Albuquerque right now from that uh, camera looking off to the north stormier start to your holiday weekend. I think that we're gonna see a good chance of storms around tomorrow and then drier as we get into Sunday and Labor Day itself. So Labor Day looking good for the picnics and barbecues right now. Your planner for this evening though, watch out for a passing shower, a thunderstorm, 86 degrees at 7 p.m. By tomorrow morning, we're in the middle 60s, feeling nice, get out early to beat the warm temperatures and that chance of storms. The deeper monsoon moisture is locked up over northern Mexico and also southwest Texas as this ridge of high pressure is kind of wrapping in some drier air. But with weak disturbances within that flow, we do have some moisture in place, so we're seeing a few storms pop up, especially over northern New Mexico. The monsoon index tomorrow, it's up to the medium category with a better chance of more scattered showers and thunderstorms. Some of those could have some heavy rainfall leading to some pockets of some localized flooding as well. Just keep that in mind and tracking it with future track seven. Now this evening again, isolated scattered storms across northern areas of the state will fall apart overnight and will start off dry most of New Mexico on your Saturday morning. But by the afternoon between oh, two to three o'clock or so and uh, also into the early evening hours around dinner time, we'll see showers and thunderstorms pop up across the north and then shift off to the west. So Santa Fe, Taos, the North Mountains and then eventually Albuquerque and the Grants and Gallup could see some of those storms working off to the southwest as we head through the nighttime hours, but it does look drier for your Sunday. Farm to the four corners, looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms around for tomorrow, and then less active with those showers and storms as we get into Sunday, Monday. Those temperatures will stay hot in the lower 90s, so looking good for Labor Day right now across the four corners region. Southwest New Mexico, just a slight chance of storms, better chances the farther north you go, so the Gila, Quemado also up around Reserve, and Socorro will see a chance of scattered storms late, only a slight chance in Silver City, and you see drier for Sunday and also for Labor Day itself. Into the southeastern part of the state, isolated scattered storms around for tomorrow. Keep that in mind. Fort Sumner, Roswell also rid those. So the Sacramento Mountains can see that chance of storms and then drier for your Sunday into Labor Day. Looking good for those pool parties on Labor Day. Into the southeast and we go to the northeast. Raton, Las Vegas and also Moriarty, Santa Rosa. Better chances, especially over the mountains and back to the west. So just keep that in mind if you're heading up to do some hiking and camping. Get off those exposed peaks before lunchtime. Drier for Sunday. Slight chance of a storm around as we head into Monday. Same deal for Santa Fe, Los Alamos, and also Red River and Taos. Just keep that in mind. Scattered storms around tomorrow. A little drier for Sunday. Maybe a little uptick in the action for Labor Day, but uh, right now it looks isolated in nature. Bernalillo, Rear Ranch, Los Linus, and Blend. There will be scattered showers and thunderstorms around for your Saturday, but Doug, for Sunday and also Labor Day, it does look like we'll have drier conditions out there, and we're going to see um, well, warm temperatures in the upper 80s. So if you have a picnic or a barbecue, I think the best days to do that would be Sunday and Monday. Saturday, a better chance of storms mm -hmm. here in the metro. All right, Byron, thanks.